This is Ian Pretty from the Retro Computer Shack. In this video I'll show you how to connect an Atari 520 STFM to a TV via the SCART input and also a 1040 STE to a TV via SCART. This is a standard um, 1040 STE. It's, it's blue because I uh, just got fed up with the yellow casing and uh, sprayed it blue. Other than that it's quite normal. To do this you'll need my Atari ST SCART lead and an Atari STE depending on which model of computer. I'll explain that in the video. The only difference with the STE lead is that it's got the RCA Phono inputs to send the stereo sound from the STE to the TV whereas the other models don't have stereo sound. So for this uh, video we're going to use the Atari ST lead. So the connections are, uh, are very simple. There's only a monitor socket on the back of uh, the Ataris. So the dim plug end of the SCART lead, the video end, uh, note it says this way up and the dim plug at the top. That's because, unfortunately, the monitor socket and plug have been designed in such a way that it will go in either way up. Uh, it'll fit, but it won't work. So make sure you get it the right way. Dim pull to the top and it says this way up. If you get it the wrong way around, it won't do any harm, but you'll just get a loud buzzing noise and uh, no picture. So the other connection is the power, which is straightforward. And then the other end of the lead is the SCART plug, which needs to go into the back of the TV. Uh, I've already got mine connected for this one, so that's already been done. Right, so if we switch the TV on and then select the SCART input, let me just switch that light out. Right, the um, SCART input's already selected on this TV, which is EXT. So we'll select that. Switch the Atari ST on. And as you can see, we have a picture of sorts. Okay, this is uh, just a compilation of games, so I'll just load uh, one, which is pattern. It's a bit difficult to read that from there, but I'll just set that loading while I show you some more information about the SCART leads. Let's just zoom back into that. And pop some more light on. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, I do two SCART leads. The Atari ST SCART lead, which is the one we're using in this video, is, connect, uh, is to connect these models. The 520 STF, uh, the 520 STFM, the 1040 ST, the 1040 STF, and the 1040 STFM with mono sign because that's all they give out. It will also work with the 520 STE, with mono sound and the 1040 STE with mono sound and it'll also work with the Mega ST and the Mega 2 with mono sound. The Atari STE lead which uh, as we showed you earlier is the one with the additional phonos as you probably guessed works with the 520 STE and the 1040 STE both with stereo sound. That lead won't work with these models. Uh, the video will work, but you won't get any sound. So make sure you get the right lead for the right models. Um, none of the RGB SCART leads that I sell or anyone else sells will work with the basic model of Atari ST computers, i.e. the 520ST and the 1040ST, etc. This is because they don't have a composite video signal or a C-Sync, a composite sync signal. So it's not possible to make an RGB SCART lead work with those models. Um, the Atari ST was originally down, the video output was designed for the Atari ST monitors, so it's not quite standard, which makes it a little bit uh, difficult to connect via RGB SCART. Uh, in most cases it works, but they do have a few issues. Um, these are some of the issues you may come across. No picture or loud buzzing sound, as I mentioned earlier, that's probably the video plug the wrong way up. An unstable or flickering picture, which is the common uh, problem that people get, or fairly common. Um, which are picture sync issues. To resolve that, try a different TV or a different SCART socket on the on the TV, uh, usually only one's RGB compatible. 
If those don't work, there is a mod to the SCART lead that may work for you. I'll put the link uh, below the video for that uh, for that modification. I don't fit the modification as standard to my leads because when I tried it uh, several years ago, um, it was actually more incompatible with most people's TVs, but does resolve the problem on the odd one or two. So I don't fit that. Um, the other problem you may get is a very dark but stable picture. This is when the TV is not switched into RGB mode. Again, try a different SCART socket or a different TV. That may resolve it. Um, with RGB SCART leads, you, you, you need to note as well, um, with all RGB SCART leads, you'll only, need to be dis uh, you'll only be able to display low or medium resolution modes. Uh, this is fine for most games and medium resolution desktop work. But if you want to use the desktop or a program such as Cubase, which runs in high resolution, um, then you'll need to use the original Atari ST high res monitors uh, or a VGA adapter, which I don't sell. Um, you may be able to find those on eBay. I think there's a seller that still sells those, uh, which connects to um, an old CRT type uh, VGA monitor with a 15 kilohertz signal. They're a bit difficult to find these days, but uh, you may get that if you need that solution. If you don't have a SCART socket on your TV, then all my RGB SCART leads are designed, tested and compatible with these video converters. The OSSC, which is the open source scan converter, and these RetroTINK uh, converters, the 5X Pro and the 2X SCART. It also works with a low cost uh, SCART to HDMI converter, which I'll explain in a different video. Um, SCART to HDMI is a difficult subject and uh, it's not as easy as it sounds, so I'll, I'll do a different video for those. Um, so if you want any more information, if you click the links below the video, you'll also find a link to this troubleshooting guide as well. I supply these with my uh, SCART leads, but you can download it as well. Also, I have specific information for the ST computers. Um, now, before we go to the picture, I'll just show you the difference in connections on the ST. I'm not going to load the ST up because it's exactly the same procedure just different connections on the back so we'll just go back to there pop that light on um, so the ST e lead is the same other than you've got the audio connection so this way up again and the audio connections left and right and that's the only difference it's the same procedure, other than the connections and the SCART lead, obviously. So, let's have a look at the picture. And hopefully we'll get sound as well. So you should get a nice, clear, steady picture with vivid colours and mono sound with this computer. So I think that's a bit for the, that's it for this video. So for more information, if you click the links below the videos, I'll put links there for all the uh, SCART leads uh, and troubleshooting guides, etc. Well, that's about it for me for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you find it useful.